What is going on everyone? It's Andy with Andy's On Can Outdoor Adventures here. Thank you for coming back for yet another video. This week's video is going to be an update on the project lawn. We have some big changes that have happened here in the last month. So this video is going to be broken down into three parts. The first part, we're going to go ahead and do a recap of what we've done from April up until now in July and show you the progress we've made along the way. Second part, I'm going to talk about what went down with this early July applications. And then the third one, which may or may not happen, we may be going out to the project lawn to mow some stripes, depending upon what the lawn update shows. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll with the video. Alright, so for those of you who have been following along with the channel over the last three months would know that I have been helping my uncle out with his lawn this year, taking it from the worst of the worst, considering last year it got beat up by disease, fungus, insects, and a whole slew of problems, to the best of the best in hopefully one season. We started this journey in the beginning of April, and as we go along here, I'm going to throw some pictures up on the screen. We went ahead and had the lawn dethatched by a local company. As you can see, the lawn was very thin, very pale, lots of big dead spots left over from last year. Just the lawn was in horrible shape. We started off by throwing down the Scott's Halt's Crabgrass Preventer Plus Lawn Food and some Scott's Disease X. This was to initially start the turf off with some good food for the year and to clean up any fungus that was left over by last year. Fast forward later about a month, here we are in the early part of May. At this point we were starting to get into a drought, but despite that, the color of the turf was good, but the density was still poor. So to help this out, we went ahead and threw down some starter fertilizer, just a cheap triple tan from Menards, along with bio-advanced fungus control to prevent any disease from coming in, along with the Menards brand insecticide to prevent grubs and other insects from coming back into the lawn. Now throughout the month of May, we did not see any rain whatsoever, so the drought kept mounting, kept getting much, much worse, and as you could see here in the early part of June, while the density of the turf was a little bit better, the color was pretty good, the lawn was starting to go dormant from lack of water. That did not stop us from throwing down the Yard Mastery Triple 12 Starter Fertilizer, which was a much better choice in the end compared to using the Cheap Menards one, as it comes with micronutrients and Bionite to amend our soil. Then we also threw down some Disease X as the heat was building, the humidity was building, the threat for disease was getting strong. Now starting the week of June 20th and going through about the end of the month, we got some much needed rain. We got somewhere between like 3 and 5 inches of rain over the course of that time. And I'm going to throw some pictures up here from July 1st. The lawn just exploded out of control. A lot of the thin areas had filled in. And you can see overall, the health of the lawn has looked much, much better. So that is a little recap as to what's happened out at the project lawn. You can kind of see the progression. It was slow, slow, slow. And then all of a sudden, the rain hit. And boom, everything just exploded. And it's come along far better than both myself and my uncle were expecting. We had planned to do slit seeding over massive parts of the yard, but as you can see, that likely will not be necessary. At this point, we do still plan on overseeding the yard, but we're not going to have to take as drastic measures as we were initially planned. So as you can see there, the lawn is looking much better than it has the entire season, that is for sure. So we want to go ahead and continue that success with some more applications. I'm filming this part of the video here on July 8th. On July 5th, I will throw a picture right up here on the screen. You can see two different products went down. 7020 Stress Blend from Yard Mastery and some Bio Advanced Fungus Control. Rationale behind these two applications. First of all, the Stress Blend 7020. We want a little bit of nitrogen here just to keep us going through the summer, but a lot of potassium and all the micronutrients to help strengthen our grass to make it much hardier against heat, disease, and insects. That application went down at 3 pounds per thousand, giving us right around 0.2 pounds of nitrogen, but 0.6 pounds of potassium. And the fungus control went down, so this way we don't have to deal with disease issues. We're trying to prevent the disease from coming back in. That went down halfway in between the preventative rate and the curative rate, just so my uncle wouldn't have to keep any extra bags lying around in his garage. So that concludes the first two parts of this video here. So now, let's see what we can do about mowing some stripes out in the project lawn. Ready? So, let's head out there, and just like that, we are out at the project lawn. So today, for our setup to get the stripes, we're using my uncle's Toro Recycler 22-inch. This is the front-wheel drive version here, no personal pace, and a DIY striping kit that he just built yesterday. And in this, there's 3-inch PVC filled with some gravel, some big uh, eye hooks here, some nut washer on both sides, and temporarily here, we're just using zip ties 
and a carabiner to get it hooked up to the mower. We are going to eventually change this out, but for now that's what we're doing. And then we have a rope here so that when we're mowing we could pick this thing up on the turn so we don't have to drag it around. With that, let's get to some striping action. Folks, this right here is the end result of roughly just a few months of treatment here. That's all it is. We went ahead and mowed double wide stripes here. As you could see, the height of cut is 3.75 inches, so we're cutting nice and tall for the summer months here. Stress blend went down four days ago, so that's starting to kick in. Have some cool temperatures today in the 60s, and you could see as a result, we finally have enough grass here that we're actually able to lay some stripes. This right here was that massive bare spot here and you can see there are still some thin areas in here so I don't want you to think that we're perfect but we are probably about 75 percent filled in at this point. Right now we don't have good sunlight here on the front yard but you can see the stripes are there and later this afternoon these will be nicely visible from the street. And then right here down the side of the lawn, you could see we are looking amazing. Domination is on point. So you could see a close-up shot right here. This is what most of the lawn looks like. Nice, thick, green, and healthy. So, and then when we're done striping, you could see like this area right here, super small. So what we've done, as you can see what my uncle's doing, took the striping kit off, and he's manually rolling this area to get the stripes consistent with what's back here. Alright everyone, thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video. As you can see, we have made great, great progress in the last month out at the Project Lawn, and we still have a full summer ahead of us, and a full fall time ahead of us, so I am very, very excited to see where this project leads. We made big strides this past month, and we hope to continue that going through the rest of the 2021 lawn season. With that, I'm Andy with Andy's Lawn Care and Outdoor Adventures. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in next week's video.